Islam and he started defending Islam, bro. And that shows that this missionary attack on Islam is nothing new. It's been there for it's, a very it's long ancient. Time. It started. It started from the very early period of Islam. Okay, yeah. Christian missionaries, clergy, they started to lie on Islam, literally lie. It starts in. Uh, it starts with John of Damascus. Okay, mm -hmm. John of Damascus was one of the later church fathers who wrote in Greek. Okay, he was from Damascus. He was alive during the Umayyad period, and it starts with him. And the, tra the tradition continues to this way. I will make a very responsible statement now. Mm. Most Christian missionaries commenting on Islam, most of them, not all, not all, most of them are malicious liars, are a bunch of liars. I, and and I, I'm usually very careful with my statements. Yeah, at Nanara Seed, now we will see who is the actual liar. This debate is from 2013. And look the claims this guy was making. We don't have one manuscript of the Quran from the 7th century. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. By Allah, by Allah, if we don't have over a thousand manuscripts, over a thousand, if we don't, if we don't, I'm going to show you pictures. But where are you? We're going to get pictures. Okay, bring them here. Bring them here. We're going to show you pictures. We have, we have the entire Quran. We have the entire Quran from the first century of Islam, which is the seventh century in Husseini Mosque in Cairo. This guy is a compulsive liar. Okay, we have the entire. First claim, he said they have over a thousand manuscripts from the first century of Islam, and he was searching around for Mansur to provide the evidence. That is what's happened. Let's see. That makes... Remember last year, Hatun, we were on the ladder with Mansur. Remember, it was just about a year ago, May 26, 2019. We got on the ladder to introduce this book. We were there to introduce this book, not to talk about manuscripts. Remember Mansur Ahmad, who is one of the writers for the Islamic Awareness website, got on the ladder with us, and for half an hour, he tried to harangue us, saying that these are not variants, these are nothing more than scribal areas, blah, 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 blah. Then he says he made an amazing statement in front of 20 cameras, whether they recorded it all. He says, we can trace the textual history of the Quran all the way back to Uthman, all the way back to 650. Remember what you and I did? We turned on him. Remember that? Yeah. We said, are you saying this? Can you trace a manuscript textual history, a critical, ex this is a critical text, all the way back to the time, I'm sorry, let's go this direction, all the way back to the 7th century, the mid-7th century. And he was quiet. He didn't say anything. So when we asked him again, okay, let's give you benefit of the doubt. Maybe you, maybe you said something before you did. Maybe you spoke too quickly. How about for the 7th century, back to 699? Can you find a complete Quran, since you're claiming it now, you can find a complete Quran, 114 surahs, all 114 surahs, one Quran from the 7th century itself. That means that one that also parallels what we have in our hand today. This right here, the Arabic, not the, not the translation. I'm talking about the Arabic. Can you do that? He was quiet. Finally, he said, we can, you're not listening to me, Jay, he said. He looked at you, Hatun, as well, and he smirked, and he says, we can find 97% of the Quran by, sec, by 719. Ooh, I loved it. And he says, go, and they, what he was talking about is the same site that Adnan has just talked about on Friday. He's going to the exact same article that you and I have been looking at. It's been up there for quite a few years. It has not changed. Look at those 63 fragments and you will see we now are looking. We have looked at every one of those 63 fragments and not one of them can we categorically say are been from before 790. We have there are some there are about seven of them that you could probably guess. OK, Adnan, your 1000 manuscripts became seven fragments. Okay, and your claim was that if, alhamdulillah, what, what did you say? Let's, let's return to your claim. We don't have one manuscript of the Quran from the 7th century. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. By Allah, by Allah, if we don't have over a thousand manuscripts, over a thousand, if we don't, if we don't, I'm going to show you pictures. But where are you? We're going to get pictures. Okay, bring them here. Bring them here. We're going to show you pictures. We have, we have the entire Quran. We have the entire Quran from the first century of Islam. You have the entire Quran and you looked for Mansur. Look what Mansur is saying. We can, you're not listening to me, Jay, he said. He looked at you, Hatun, as well, and he smirked, and he says, 
we can find 97% of the Quran by sec by 719. Ooh, I loved it. Even your fake fragments of manuscripts that you have in the Islamic awareness without properly dating, even these fake dated manuscripts, fragments of manuscripts that you put together, that only seven you have actually dated, and they are in the first century of Islam, even that is 96%. So, Adnan, you say the entire Quran, even the fake fragments of manuscripts you produce are 96%. So, again, you lied, in other words. Let's continue. We have the entire Quran from the first century of Islam, which is the seventh century in Husseini Mosque in Cairo. This guy yes. is a compulsive liar. Yes. Third claim you made is that the Husseini manuscript is complete and it's from the first Islamic century. Okay, let's see if that claim is true. So that was the first part. In the second part, he talked about um, Husseini manuscripts. I did make I made a video about that on Saturday. He talked about Husseini manuscripts and then he expressed that Husseini manuscripts is the Quran from the first century. Did we not listen to that? I thought we listened to that one. We haven't got to this one yet. Uh, oh. He was talking about lying so much. I think we got so excited by his lying that, that we only got <laughs> okay, part I of it. Okay, apologize. Only... Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, let's go back to that part and see. Well, listen, because we're running okay, out of time. Okay, in different libraries, go, maybe... okay, we even have complete copies. The Husseini Mosque manuscript, which is from the first century in Cairo, okay, Husseini Mosque manuscript is from the first century of Islam. It's in Cairo. It is 99%, 99% complete. Not 100. <laughs> now it's 99, eh? I thought you said 100%. The complete text of the Quran. Only first two or three pages are missing. Ah, now there are pages missing, eh? Now there are pages missing. I thought you said the Husseini manuscript is a complete Quran. Isn't that what you said in 2013? And by Allah, by Allah, you will become Christian. <laughs> Isn't that what you said? Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. By Allah, by Allah. Yeah. We have the entire Quran from the first century of Islam, which is the seventh century in Husseini Mosque in Cairo. This guy yes. is a compulsive liar. Yeah. By Allah, Din, you should now become Christian then. By Allah. What by Allah? <laughs> Surah Surah Al-Fatiha and maybe one uh, the uh, the very early verses of uh, Surah Baqarah are missing. Really, 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 they are missing. Then I thought you said by Allah, by Allah, by Aladdin, <laughs> by Aladdin and the eight thieves. The rest of the Quran is there. Hosseini mm -hmm. Mosque manuscript. Allahu Akbar. Um, yeah, I will add that Allah al-Askar or Allah Akbar in Hebrew. Uh, sorry, Jay, I thought we listened that part. So, Husseini manuscripts is, he started with, this is the first complete, uh, this is the first century completed Quran. And then he's, after that, he said 99% of this Quran is complete. Uh, what do you say? Well, goodness sakes, <laughs> there's so much you can say about this. Uh, I, I, if you could, if you could, um, can I put up my, well, let's go ahead. He goes on, if you look at the, if you go up and put up the PowerPoint again, just take a look at what we have on the Husseini manuscript. And let's just take a look at this Husseini manuscript. Look at that slide number 12. Yeah. Okay. I want to go to one of your Turkish scholars, Dr. Tahir Atakulic, and also Dr. Ekmedelin Isanoglu. They are the only ones who really have done a forensic analysis of the Husseini, and they came out with their study in 2007, 2009. Uh, this is one of the manuscripts that I introduced in my debate with Shabir Ali in, back in 2014. And take a look at what they said. This is not Uthmanic. It is dated from the early to mid 8th century. It was stated that the Cairo copy, that's the Husseini manuscript, might have been written in the order of Abdul al-Aziz al-Marwan in 704. 
the governor of Egypt. However, the reason for reaching this conclusion has not been explained. We share the view that this copy is not one of the Musafs attributed to Caliph Uthman. And later on, he goes on and says that this is from the uh, early to mid 8th century. So it's in the 700s. So it's not from the 1st century either. Adnan, you non-liar. <laughs> You non first first you were the non radical. I remember. I remember first you were the non radical who accuses everybody of being radical, and now you became the non liar that accuses everybody else of lying. In abbreviation, I will call you the non from now on. <laughs> Your name will be the non. <laughs> you are the non radical, the non liar. The no <laughs> in abbreviation just non I have the Quran from the seventh century in my possession, in my collection, in my house, in London, in Edgeware. I don't want to tell him where I live. Okay? Okay, show me the pictures of these manuscripts as soon as possible. There isn't any complete Quran from the seventh century. But you have it at your home. <laughs> okay, so the whole world doesn't have it, but you have it at your home. Okay, we believe that. Because <laughs> you, we, you are the non-liar, so. Now, we have the entire Quran from the first century of Islam, which is the seventh century. We have parchments of the Quran exactly the same as the Quran we read today in our hands. Yes. There is no question about the Quran. Hmm, I have a small question about this. Let's see. So that right there wipes out what Adnan's saying. This is, first of all, not a complete Quran, but it doesn't even come from the same century that Adnan's claiming it. Let's go back to the next slide, because in the next slide, Franzo de Roche talks about this. Franzo de Roche is one of the leading scholars in the world today on, manuscript, on manuscripts and also on variants. And he puts the date for the Husseini manuscript to the 9th century. Why? Because of the kind of script that is used. It's a monumental text. Therefore, it is much bigger. It comes later. It's borrowed. That, monu monu that monumental text was borrowed from the Christians. And you can see pictures of it right there. What is fascinating is what Adnan doesn't, every, either Adnan doesn't know or he's not studied or he's not read the experts of it. This manuscript, in the, of all manuscripts, he should never have claimed is from the time of Uthman. And he should not have claimed that it's 99%. Why? because this manuscript is riddled with coverings. This is the one manuscript that Dan Brubaker is talking about. He's got it in his book, uh, that the 20 Corrections. This is one of the examples he gives. And it's the last example he gives in the book on er corrections of early Quranic manuscripts. I was just on the phone with Daniel Brubaker just about an hour ago, and he was laughing when he heard what Adnan was saying. Adnan is not keeping up with the latest. You've got to keep up with the latest findings. Take a look at what Hattu now has up on screen. Look at this one page. This is from uh, this is from Daniel Brubaker's book, not his book. Actually, this is my PowerPoint. This is not from his book. Just the picture on the right is. He has that picture in his book. Uh, if you have a copy of that book, go to page number. Uh, let me just get the page number here. Page number eighty-five, Hattu. Page number eighty-five. And it's that page you're looking at. Now, take a look at that. That is from the Husseini uh, manuscript, the Musaf al-Sharif, they call it, from Cairo. Surah 2, Ayah 191 to 193. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different coverings on one page. And nothing has been written over top. In fact, when you look at that, modern Muslims don't even know what it says because so much has been covered over. All that has been covered over has been censored. That's called censorship. There are so many of these in the Husseini manuscript that there's no way in the world that Adnan can get away with saying this is 99% of the Quran. What's more, he cannot say that it's complete. I'm sorry, that, uh, that he doesn't say. He says 99%. He cannot say that it's from the 7th century. This is from the 8th century. According to Doros, this is from the 9th century. So even by the 9th century, they still haven't completed the Quran. This does not agree with all the different coverings. And I'm just showing you one page here with all the different coverings they have on the Husseini manuscript. It, you cannot say that it even agrees with the other manuscript, the Topkapi or the Samarkand or the Ma'il manuscript, the Petropolitan manuscript or the Sana manuscript, the other five major manuscripts. 
It is above and beyond. In fact, that's why most Muslims do not put it forward as one of the best manuscripts, because it has so much censorship. It has so many errors. It has so many differences uh, that have been, and these have all been done after the fact. In other words, they were done at a later date. Yes. And that's why it's, I had to laugh when I heard him make these claims. So, um, I have the, uh, I'm someone who God has been so gracious to me. <laughs> so I have got uh, Hussein Musaf here, okay. See, Adnan, Hatun actually has what you claim you have in your house. The irony, eh? Hatun actually has what you claimed you had in your house. This book is modern. It's uh, four years old. So you couldn't have possibly had this book to your house in 2013. Yet, Hatun has it. And let's see whether it's complete. I'm just like so kind today. I don't know why, but I'm just turning you... Jay, you're welcome. Here's the Musaf here. This is the page Jay is talking about. Okay? All those covered. It's it's all in the Musaf. Okay? And it's not only that. From page to page you go. I, I don't think you are able to see. But page to page you go. You can even see like half of the page is not there. So, half of the page is not there. Yet it's complete. And from the first century. No, it isn't at none. You are just an idiot. On top of that, what do the scholars have to tell us? This guy, he's still failing his PhD. How long has it been now? Okay, it's not important. It's not important. No worries. He attempted a PhD and he failed. Now, now, I'll tell you about I'll tell you about people who were successful in the PhD. Angelica Newworth, she's a German scholar on the Quran, a non-Muslim scholar. She states in the Cambridge history, can you pay attention, can you pay attention? In Cambridge, in Cambridge companion to the Quran, Angelica Newworth, a German historian of the Quran, writes that the traditional view that the Quran is preserved as it was delivered by the Prophet is accurate. A German scholar said, I, really, it was a German. Maybe it was a German shepherd, the dog. <laughs> Look, this guy, this guy said, some German said, some German in Cambridge said that uh, the Quran is preserved. Some German. <laughs> well, we should search all Germany. <laughs> we should search all Germany to find him. I, w I will take a ticket and go to Germany and ask, hey, is there any German here that <laughs> knows anything about the Quran, Quranic manuscripts? Say, everybody's German here. Oh, really? Adnan said some German. So it might be somewhere here, somewhere here in Germany. I had to go to a specialist to get my hips realigned. Very painful. The doctor said it was similar to... Uh operating on a German Shepherd uh, when they have uh, hip dysplasia. <laughs> I'm not oh, as professional. Shit. I can't do this right now. Alan and his apps, <laughs> he loves them. He's designed three of his own. You know, one of them, you can hold up to anybody's beard. <laughs> and I'm making this statement with confidence. They are a bunch of liars. They deliberately ignore physical evidence, empirical evidence, which is in their faces, yep, to confuse their own masses, to take them away from Islam. Yep. They basically want to confuse the Christians into thinking, Quran is not preserved, Islam is messed up, Prophet yeah. Muhammad is immoral, da, 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 da. They will keep lying. They will keep lying. They will lie to an extent that they will lose any sense of shame. Not that they ever had it in the yeah. first place. Right. But they are mostly, mostly, most of them. Yeah. They are outright liars. They are liars. OK. They're not confused. They're not ignorant. They know the truth. They know they are lying. This is why they are malicious liars yeah. without saying names, without mentioning names. That's why we choose not to engage with most of them. Yeah. Because they, how, how will you how will you debate a liar? How will you debate a liar when you put physical evidence in front of their face? They will say, oh. I don't accept it. It doesn't exist. Yeah. Okay. If you tell someone there's the sun, 
Can you see the sun? He will say, I cannot see the sun. He will do this. Right. Your categories have become tiresome. Now's the time on Sprockets where we dance. <laughs> That's all the time we have on Sprockets. My guest has been my lover, Helmet. My name is Dieter. Auf Wiedersehen.